Ignatius Fart 7 here, and welcome back. We are in what is called the sink, which is a pretty interesting little new base of ours, or what will become our base, which I think is very cool. Yeah. Oh, and I have a hot plate. Sweet. Rock flower, lots of purified water, plants, a sort of master computer, sink central intelligence unit. Need the hollow tape to restore all of these, man. Yeah. So nothing in here is actually usable at the moment because of the no hollow tape bits. Think tank. I guess we gotta go in here. Yes, ah. Uh. <laughs> this is so much fun. Love this. And I'm freaking beast at this point. Cannot draw my weapon for some reason. Uh. Okay. I have no desire to draw my weapon. As of right now. Or is there any need to draw my weapon? I thought I heard the pacification field Ooh. kick in. All right, shh. nobody move. I'll handle this. Hi. Reward, intruder! <laughs> you are in the presence of a mighty think tank of Big Mountain, the collective geniuses of we. <laughs> my Oppenheimer, which one of you self-professed geniuses has been adjusting my volume knob? Who was it? Was it you, Eight? <laughs> oh, Doctor O, was it? Likely Lovely story. O oh, couldn't spark two neurons if they were in a lattice of biomed gel. What? Me? Breaking news, Klein. It wasn't me, all right? I'm the robotical engineer. Eight is sound waves. That's his specialty. <laughs> you always do this. You always demean me in front of guests. And it's not O, all right? It's... Enough! Either of you do it again, it'll be the last the time. time. Now. He saw it. Uh, now. Uh, great. Now I forgot what I was saying. What was I talking about? Are you all speaking through that one voice box? Did. Did it just say something? Anyone catch that? Laura, she worked with. It's a lobotomite! Here, in the dome! Yay! Oh, as if this situation couldn't get any worse. Now we've got lobotomites! Yalla! Get the spray before it excretes all over everything. <laughs> lobotomite. Dr. Klein, if my hypothesis is correct, this lobotomite is the repository of the brain we sent the signal to. The skin below once containing it. If so, it's proof that there may indeed be something beyond the just look at it. at it. The way it blinks. It's like a big, hairless teddy bear. Hi. I know what it is, Dollar. I want to know why it's down here. With its, its, its <laughs> limbs These guys are everything. true. These guys are so funny. And are those penises I see wriggling on its feet? Disgusting. They're toes. I believe those are toes, Dr. Klein. Little teddy bear toes. Penises are much larger than those tiny extremities. Yeah, not that I would know. I don't recall <laughs> a human penis ever being that large. It depends on one's own frame of reference, Dr. O. Oh. Look at its little nose with its two orifices for ingesting Man, oxygen. That's cold. <laughs> Noses? By the great static, these lobotomites confound me with their sheer number of useless extremities. I breathe through my nose. Hold up one finger, point itself, point at them, hold up five fingers. Now it's holding up an array of fully erect hand penises. <laughs> if it tries to insert them, activate vivisectors. Dr. Klein, <laughs> wait. I... Wait. I don't believe those gestures were random. Random at all. It's been following oh, our conversation. conversation. 
I agree with Boros's history. Yes, of yes, I have been. This little oh. lobotomite is unusually <clears throat> attentive for something whose brain has been extracted. What? Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. They take your brain out, which is hilarious. Hey, have you been in the mentats again? If we slow down our oral processor receptors to understand this excretion, we'll all be rendered ignorant. No. All of you, power down, shut up, and let me prove once and for all. Lobotomite. <laughs> Do you understand me? Can you. You guys speak? are jerks, but funny. <laughs> Yes, I'm guessing that Crash Satellite was yours. Those were words, weren't they? In the form of questions. Our efforts have turned against God. us. God. Perhaps as we were ruthlessly lobotomizing it with our cutters, we filled this skin below with awareness. A teddy bear with new stuffing. Wait. If what you're theorizing is this lobotomite understands us, can reason with us, then this may be just the answer we've been looking for. At last, a chance to... Dr. Klein, a transmission, transmission from the Forbidden Zone, coming right at us. It can only be... If it isn't my old colleagues, the mighty think tank of Big Mountain, Big Fools, Oh, Dr. Mobius. Dr. Mobius, transmitting from my dome-shaped dome in the Forbidden Zone, a zone that is, yes, forbidden to you. Even now, my deadly robo-scorpions <laughs> swarm across Big Mountain with their pincers and pointy laser tails. Soon, all science will be mine. Even the technology sealed in okay. the Big Mountain Research Centers cannot save you. So cower in your think tank. Wait for the end. That's all. The dialogue in this DLC Goodbye. is brilliant. Mobius. Always the same broadcast. He's clearly mad, driven insane by his flawed and imprecise kindergarten-level research methodology. <laughs> what are we going to do? There's no way we can breach the Forbidden Zone. There's those uh, uh, scorpions everywhere. The Forbidden Zone, where no brain has ever entered, nor ever returned. Except Dr. Mobius. And the technologies that could save us, they are out of our reach. And uh, Dr. Mobius mocks us. Did you see his cracked monitor? He's clearly let himself go. What? Oh, it's number eight. Why? With all the random Ask the lobotomite for help. Dots and noise. Eight, I think you need the fluid levels in your logic assist pumps checked. If this lobotomite responded, Dr. Klein, then it is clearly intelligent, perhaps even displays heretofore unknown levels of helpfulness. But what of its brain? We scooped that out. We don't even know where we left it. And for putting it back in, none of us have the knowledge. <laughs> yes, but it's still aware and responsive. Look at it. It's regarding us even now, with its big teddy bear eyes. If we ask it politely, and leave the part about the unnecessary, ruthless lobotomizing out, it might be favorably disposed to yeah, us. Yeah, they, they took my brain out. You removed my brain? We removed your brain, yes. So soft, barely wrinkled, yet so flush with knowledge and experience. Brain extraction technology has been standard practice at Big Mountain for an immeasurable amount of time. Once the brain was out, then came the coils. The Tesla coils. The I coils Tesla of coils in my brain. Tesla. My brain's been replaced with advanced technology. I can no longer be crippled. My head can no longer be crippled and is it resistant to... Ooh, and shock from bodily damage, plus 5% damage threshold. Hex, yeah. Yeah, eight, no need to brag. That's awesome. Wherever your brain is, it's transmitting thoughts to you through the, what, the, um, uh, 
The Tesla, Tesla coils, coils in its head. <laughs> This is in many oh man, <laughs> so good. In the dome, why you can access your aggression centers. Circumventing the pacification field. This is a no no. We have never been in a fight. We do not want that. Reminds you know me of you my days in American High and Richie, Richie Marcus. Marcus. This doesn't explain the laser sutures on my chest and on my spine. Darla, was it necessary this time? I assume full responsibility. I take my duties in the prodding and excision of living, breathing tissue quite seriously. So you took out my. Although in truth, the autodoc had done most quite of the work already. Almost got into quite all my industrious. Once it had removed the brain and I misplaced it. Other organs began to cry for direction, using your nerves as telegraph wires. Rather than let them send their signals, I removed them as well. Shh, little organs. Go to sleep in your tanks. Dala loves you. First, what was the heart? The uh, I cannot be poisoned, and filters in my artificial blood pump regulate my healing. All hymns, all chems rather, function at high level. Robots are nice. Oh wait, I mean, second was the heart. Brain was first. Third was the spine. That's awesome. Due to complications, the procedure, your spine has been replaced as well. Your torso can no longer be crippled, and my strength and damage threshold have been increased by one. Spine. Oh, totally this is part overrated. Of that that arrangement of vertebrae. Look at me, with my lumbar and thoracic curvature. Never had a use for any of that. Spineless is what I prefer. Naturally. You, you, you were misplaced it? To be correct, you should say, the auto doc took out your brain. Did all the heavy it lifting. Did, it worked so hard on your surgery. Destroyed it destroyed its own memory. How odd. I bet your brain remembers what happened. That okay. auto dock junk heap was one of Mobius's creations, like the rest. After that, yeah. the brain lost itself. Not in the metaphysical sense. Might have gotten flushed into one of the pipes. Actually, that's pretty likely. If so, it was flushed all the way to Mobius. Foosh! That <laughs> is the sound of flushing! <laughs> By the Fisher of Rolando! <laughs> Enough of this biological surgery talk! <sighs> Lobotomite! Thanks, thanks guys, Listen I actually appreciate all the sweet new it updates. It denominates me to ask, but we need your help. Yay. In most probable of probabilities, our enemy, Mobius, has your brain. This, this is, is not, not good. good. He will most likely come after our brains next. We want you to stop him. Somehow. With science. Okay. Uh... You said something about needing technologies to stop movies? Yes. It is our only chance. A desperate this whole video plan that came just to us conversation. Awesome broadcast. conversation, but conversation maybe. is awesome. Just it's maybe. Funny. If we reclaim these buried technologies, we can put an end to Mobius and the horrors spawning from the Forbidden Zone. Exactly is the plan. You're losing me in the generalities. I need specifics. The plan is very complicated. We are still calculating how it would work if it succeeded. That is our part of the plan. I... What? I hope. What do you mean to do? Excellent. This is turning out much better than the activate the retreat protocols and cower in my room idea I had earlier. <laughs> Agreed. Oh, and I've used my robotical knowledge to, um, transmit the... Radio map waves to to stuffinessness to my pit boy. This settle down, yeah. eight. I would have gotten it in a second, all right. Eight transmitted the last known coordinates of the research centers. They um they, um, they well, well move sometimes. Gotcha. Sweet. Eight is correct. All we need are the schematics. This does not mean we do not want the cold hard technology, however. 
So do not give in to your biological tired laziness and decide you would sweat too much carrying them. You have a new, a new spine. spine. Use it. And even if you die in the act of reclamation, uh, simply reaching them will auto transmitify the schematics to us. That is still good for us. Naturally. This whole place. What are these technologies? The technologies are the X2 transmitter antenna array used to focus coherent focus. thought at ex okay. The psychoanalytic cardiac dampening sneaky stealth suit. A suit like nothing this world has ever heard, seen. Gotcha. And AIDS sonic sound wave emitter projecto gun. Able to broadcast sound at lethal frequencies. Oh. <laughs> it also gives a great bio gel massage. There. We have informed you of all we need. We estimate yes, if you are right. focused, your time invest... Okay. If you work quickly, you will be the recipient of a gesture of gratitude from us. We do not bestow these old world... Ge uh... What if I take my time explore the crater? What illogic is this? Keep your filthy penis-tipped feet out of our labs and secrets! <laughs> <laughs> there are things here no lobotomite was meant to see. Things that would astound. Yeah, we don't come into your lab and decant your solutions. Only sure. the magnificence of our monitors allow for true comprehension of the wonders of Big Mountain. Shield okay. your jellied eye. Gotcha. Guess... Uh... Guess I better get walking then. Ah, that is correct. You must walk <laughs> upon your many penis <laughs> many feet. Many penis feet. <laughs> Much slower <laughs> than our advanced towering robotical frames. Yeah. The little teddy bear could always run right into the pylon perimeter on its thick, turgid feet, returning it to us quickly and directly, directly. Ah. Pylons. The radar fence that surrounds the big mountain crater will prevent, uh, protect you from straying beyond the facility. Okay. The mighty radar fence protects us all. Get too close to Yeah. If you get near it, your vision will blur as the electrodes in your head shut off one by one. Possible okay. memory loss will occur along with long-term long -term nerve degradation. degradation. It is tied to not having... But the nerve degradation is nothing to worry about. Ah. Such degradation... Such tiny... You Jeez. see, if rendered unconscious by the pylons, you will return... to the sink. Sweet. Uh, great. I don't want to hear any more about that. Oh. Uh, Dr. Klein? What is it? The lobotomite is asking me things, oh, and I'm trying to ignore them. <laughs> My process... Well, you know how we asked it to fetch the it's sonic emitter have. thing? Turns out we already have it. <laughs> what are the odds? What is this, a high school science fair? Get your, Get act, your together. act together. You're, make You're always yelling. My receptors can't take... Lols. I am yelling because you contaminated specimens can't keep your probes off the volume knob on my vo... <laughs> For the... Okay, we're going to end the video here because we're way past time and we're going to continue this conversation in the next one. So till then, Bowman Tuna, we'll see you next video.